the body so let's deploy our application dotnet application today on windows machine on is okay to deploy your application on is you need two prerequisite so one for sure you have to install your is on your machine otherwise where you will deploy second can you, you need a hosting bundle so that you need to install download and then install right so we will talk about that as well okay so let's try to install is first okay so if you look at my screen what do you need so you don't need to install is it is already on your machine but you have to enable it okay so what do you have to do go to your control panel right so uh here is my control panel and over there you will go to somewhere uh, 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 programs okay go to programs and you see turn windows feature on or off so when you go there uh let's wait so over here you will see something called internet information service spend that and make sure you know you have enabled these options if you don't do you do not see is on your machine it is installed but you have to turn on that feature right so that is first prerequisite that you have fulfilled you if you have you know these check boxes checked okay now you don't need everything but you know just be on the safer side just check right so i have already installed i will cancel it now what is second second you have to download a hosting bundle so these days you require hosting bundle to be installed on your machine okay from where to download okay so uh there is a microsoft link that you can download paste this link and you will see you have a setup available from microsoft official site right so you see thank you for downloading asp.net co 9.0 runtime so these days we are building our application dotnet core only so that is why you need windows hosting bundle okay when it is installed when it is downloaded you just have to install and it is pretty straightforward on my machine it is already installed but it is straightforward you just have to double click and say next next and that's it okay so make sure first prerequisite you have is installed it means is feature turned on okay from control panel second you have to make sure this setup is downloaded which is dotnet hosting bundle and installed on your machine if you don't do that after deploying your application on is you will keep facing error like this 500 internal server error similar to this exactly same actually not similar same error so make sure you have this installed so you can avoid this error okay now let's go and publish your application okay so let me go to visual studio this is one of my application that i have created which is just a weather forecast control or dummy api endpoint okay i have swagger configured here so what i will do right click say this should be option called publish okay now so there are a lot of option in this video we will only talk about the folder option right but there are different options directly deploy your application on azure we will talk about these in coming videos okay so select folder so you can store your files local locally on your machine okay say next okay now where you wanted to publish so if i say browse i have you can create your own folder or you can create publish anywhere it is not you are not restricted to publish okay so you can restrict anywhere but i'm going to store it on desktop for you know to make my life easy so i don't have to go into different directories or uh, folders so i have folder called is deployment i will choose this one i will say okay so i should have that file over here now uh let's say finish okay so i have my profile ready which is a folder publish profile okay and it is saying over here right it will be published here it is again just saying ready to publish it is not published okay now when you click on publish it will publish okay before that let me see show all setting things okay now keep in mind so for me i have not seen a window like this publish right when i was creating my profile but in some cases you will see uh, this publish profile this window where, where visual studio will ask you for settings since on my machine i have already done these settings so that's why it didn't ask but for your for you if you are if you're doing first time it will ask okay now there are default option that is by default chosen by uh, visual studio so let's choose those okay so it should be self-contained 
okay it would be self contained if you are doing first time again it keeps changing it not necessary but as of now when i am making this video by default it says self contained so let's go for self contained and over here there would be a different option but let's say x86 okay now let's see if there is any other option produce single file enable ready to run compilation trim unused code delete all existing okay i wanted to delete all existing file prior to publish okay trim unused code okay optimize my code enable ready to run compilation okay produce single file now this option is interesting so for this video i will not create a single file because you know sometime you land into a problem if you create a single file some server doesn't support just single file right so for today make sure our code is ready to compile and our code is optimized okay now i don't want to go for any database if you wanted to go you can choose but i don't have any database project right now here okay now let's say save so this setting has been saved published and now let's see the magic so it is published right you see publish succeeded on this date at this time and it is asking to navigate so if i click on navigate it should open a new folder for me where it has been published so here i am right so i'm in desktop and is deployment and i have all the files right now to deploy this what i will do okay now so you have to open is so what you can do you can click on your windows key or from your keyboard and start typing start searching is okay so go to is so let me close one is so uh, 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 let me open this is over here so this is the is okay now what i will do i will create a website so create a website so name anything let's say uh this is code with uh, uh, uh parveen yadav dot api okay so this is my site name now uh, instead of dot let's say hyphen api for just for the good practice now where is the physical path okay that is important thing so for a physical path what we should do copy all the files and you know what go to a c drive okay so let's go to c drive let me open the c drive now over c drive there should be a folder called init pub now you are not restricted to you know host your application to any folder you can do that but for a best practice and for the higher privilege for a higher permission this folder is designed to host your application on is so make sure you go to c drive then go to init for folder and there is a www root folder over here create your sites okay so what i will do here i will create a new folder right and say continue and let's say this is my api okay come on uh come on okay now i will paste all those files from my published folder to here let me publish it okay do this for current all items and you are done right so now copy this path come on copy this path go to is back uh, uh here and put that file here see in it pub w root and i have files under api right now so we have to bind okay for today we will just bind http calls okay without ip address so port number you can assign anything by default it is 80 okay so that is the default port which is enabled on your machines so you can let's make 812 again you can make any port number but make sure that port is enabled on your machine okay let's leave host name blank no ip address okay start the website immediately so say okay and now we have that site listed here right over here and if i say uh, 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 it is already started if you click over there and say browse let's see is it working or not so oh there is an error 500 failed to load .NET Core host, right? So that means there is some issue while publishing. Okay, let's go there back 
and look at our settings. Let's change from self-contained to framework dependent. Okay, and then let's see if it works or not. So I have changed my settings and let's say published. Okay, and now let's see. So I'm making my application on .NET framework dependent. Okay, published succeeded this time. Okay, okay so let's copy the files from here and move our code to API folder, which is directly binded with our uh, IS, right? So I have pasted that. Now expand that again, sites, and here you go, this website, right? So let's, since we have pasted a new files, let's restart one time and say browse again, 812, and let's see if it works this time or not, because we have changed a couple of options, okay? I see now localhost page can't be found. Okay, so that means you know that error has gone that we were facing before. I to put down a swagger and let's see if it works or not. Oh, I choose something wrong. So come on, go back and type swagger and let's see if it works or not. Here you go. That swagger, that swagger works. Okay. And if you want to test it, you say try it out, execute, and you have the response. This is all the dummy API that I have created, right? Okay, that's all for today. I will see you in the next video.